this is uh, page nine of your book and it's talking about finger numbers. So if you look at your hands, put them up and then put them together and the finger numbers the, or the fingering will be one, two, three, four, five, like this. Yeah. And I know for if you play string instruments or guitar, the fingering is slightly different. Yeah, for piano, we have one at the thumb. So now put your, we'll do a little silly exercise, but it's vital in kind of um, really seeing if you understand it physically rather than just here. Because it's easy to just be like, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I know that. But totally another to be able to do it physically. Okay, so I'm going to say the finger number or fingering, and you're just going to wiggle that finger. So let's warm up together. Do it with me. Put your hands up and wiggle your number ones. And twos, threes, fours. Four is a little harder, it's less independent. And then five. I know, five is like even more difficult, right? The four Nash it kind of goes with it. And that's a little warm up. So now I'm going to say random numbers. Okay, we'll do your number twos. Four, three, one, two, five, two, four, two, three, one, two, four, five, three, two. There you go. Familiarize yourself with those finger numbers so that like if you see two for the left hand, it automatically takes out that number two. I also wanted to explain why one should um, curve their fingers when they, remember we are make, gonna make nice round shape more or less um, while they play. It's because um, when we have straight fingers, they're all at different length, right? So just imagine being, you know, trying to walk around with right leg uh, like two inches longer than your left. It's not going to be very difficult. I mean, it's going to be very difficult, not easy at all, right? So same, same reason. And then when you curve it, see? When you curve your fingers, they're all in kind of a more or less equal field. So even the thumb, you're gonna curve a little bit and then play on tips. So it's like this, and now they're on the same level. So if you're straight, not on the same level. And another thing um, that you have to remember when you play, and you know, piano teachers are always talking about it, this is to support your fingertips. So this is what I mean. This is how not to do when you're... So I'm exaggerating, but I'm kind of playing like this when my fingers bend backward, but this first joint of your finger should always be the reason being is it needs to be nicely supported so that all the energy coming from the hand or sometimes from the shoulders or for ladies because we have our balance on the hips sometimes from the hips it's going to our fingertips so our arms relax and wrist is relaxed but as you get become stronger with your fingers that all the energy is going to the tip so you know always support it and never like so a lot of piano teachers are always like, curve your fingers and support your fingertips. And this is why. Yeah, I you know, always say pianists are like finger athletes. You know, we're gonna be working our fingers a lot. Get ready to work them out. <laughs>